this video I'm gonna analyze a few of your works with light and set design. Besides, I will make the same shots by myself, correcting all mistakes that we are gonna find in this work of students. We will make the same shots, but with corrected light setups and set design. After this video, you will know how to work with location and set design for a cool and aesthetic image result. Also, I will show you how to make the volume in the scene by means of lighting. Sometimes a cool way of learning how to work with lighting and set design is looking and analyzing works of students who are just beginning to learn new skills and simple words to study by means of mistakes of others. I have chosen two works of cool guys who made the first homework of my course. Let's analyze the first work. I want to emphasize two measured things in the analyzing process. These are work with lighting, hardness, quantity of sources and position, and set design, composition and filling of props in the frame. Let's look at the beautiful work by my first student. So, not bad. And I want to say that visual storytelling is good here. But you guess what the character is doing here? What place is here, right? The props feeling is readable in the frame. We can see a little story in the frame, because the author told us a story by means of props and location. But what about light? I think that we can make this image more volumetric. You can notice that the character is mixed with the background and black cloth intensified this mixing. We should add backlight here for separating the character from the background. This is just one way of volume creating from many others. To make two or more visible different layers in the frame, separating it by means of color, composition or lighting. We are choosing light. And one more thing. My student told me that he wanted to make beams of light in the scene, but it was unsuccessfully. But it happened due to the light source looks from the camera side or to the background side. To see beams of light is impossible in this way. A beam of light is more visible when the light source looks on the camera side, like a backlight or side light setup. Ok, we know how to improve this shot. Let's do it on the practice. I have chosen Loft Studio to recreate this shot. For the beginner, I want to clean space in the scene. And spying on the work of the student, I'm gonna try to make the most similar setting in the frame. The key light of this scene is light from the lamp. I want to turn it on first and then to build a light setup in the scene using a lamp light as a key light. This light will be in the starting point. After making the key light, I'm gonna get rid of all extra light in the scene. These are electric top light and blue light from the windows. The lamp works on the quarter of its power by means of dimmer. Light looks not hot. Next step. Intensifying key light from lamp. Using additional light sources. Godox, your time is now. I'm gonna use it with softbox for soft light, since I want to apply directly on the character without bounce for soft light. To disguise Godox light as the lamp light, I need to do two things. Firstly, to choose a similar lighting temperature. It's about 3200 kelvins. Secondly, I need to choose the amount of light flow so that it looks soft on the character's face. The table lamp gives us a quite bright light here. We are reducing it a little. Time to put the second source. It will be Godox 300VL with cold temperature. I had to fiddle around with this light a bit. Because right away I could not understand how much I like making background light here. But since we are recreating the reference of my student, I still decided to leave it as a soft spot on the background wall. The place near the wall is empty. I just put here an additional object for filling of the scene. So, time to put the third light source. It will be backlight. Do you remember for what we are gonna do it? Yep, for making volume in the scene. Separating two layers of the image, separating the background and the character from each other. Let's put the lamp on the cabinet as a motivation light source, which will be intensified by means of aperture. As before, I try to make the same temperature that the lamp has. 
it's about 2800 kelvins. This lamp is warmer. I adjust the brightness of the light to my taste. So we have added all the sources that we planned. I didn't think it makes sense to add more. More doesn't mean better. Let's try to add beams of light as the student wanted to do in this work. I'm using this simple haze machine with 800 watts of power. disperse the clouds of smoke. We don't need it in the frame. And we are looking at the result. And it looks terrible. Why didn't it happen? There is a lot of smoke in the scene. Just let's wait until it dissipates and leaves behind a very dull, almost visible cloud of smoke. So it looks more lovely, but I still don't like these beams. I think that the viewer is not silly and he will notice working light source in the frame. We see this and understand that this light is unnatural. I can make the light softer and this source will not attract so much attention. Let's look what we improved here. I have repeated all light schemes, key light on the character and call backlight. Then we made a volume here, separating background and foreground by means of backlight and added a little bit of haze for additional volume. Also, for my taste, I made a sound design using Epidemic Sound Platform. By the way, you can use this platform absolutely free for 30 days. And even if you don't continue to use it, lessons of all previous used and published materials and music in your videos, you will remain forever. Let's analyze this beautiful work. What do we see here? Quite lovely set design and color harmony. Just pay attention on the character's clothes. It looks harmonious, with green and sandy colors. What can we improve here? Firstly, I don't like how this wall looks in the frame. If I had an opportunity to not show this wall in the scene or hide it by plants, I will do it. Because it's bright and looks flat, also it bounds all light in the scene. That's not cool for lighting control and creating volume. Secondly, I want to see more shadows in the scene for image contrast. Let's imagine where we can add more shadows. A simple and cool way to create volume by means of shadows is to make a dark area between camera and character. I found the similar place for creating student's shop. A lot of plants in here. If you noticed, instead of wall, we have big windows. All the exposure light area on the windows is light from native LED sources. This is imitation of daylight, and I can turn off light from any window that I'm going to do on the next step. But now I want to make good composition. I'm changing the lens and put my favorite smooth color taste. And then I'm filling the scene by means of props props of plants and other things. I want to fill a few empty areas in the frame with plants. So the image looks quite contrast. Measure and key light in the scene is the window light. We have deep shadows and some light areas that are giving us a volume. Let's intensify light contrast with two additional light sources. I use Godex 300VL as the first additional light source as a backlight. It gives us a little more light and brightness in the scene, just because this scene looks dark without this light source. We just make exposure brighter. Don't think that I add the smoke whatever possible, but it's quite interesting tool for volume creating. Volume light with haze seems a little cinematic, but be careful, we have to control haze quantity. I did a lot of haze and you can see this. Let's wait when the haze is dim and light. We don't need much haze. While the smoke is diffusing, we are putting the second light source. I want to see the character's face. For this, I'm gonna make a side light with Godox. Almost done. I think that we need to make the side light softer. Please tell me, what do you think about this format of remaking your works? And if you are my student, please send me more of your homework videos to analyze. I'm gonna recreate some work soon, if this video is useful for you. Thank you, bye.